this is big. This is big. Bam, what's going on guys? We are way out here on some new stretches of river. Looks pretty good out here. Can't wait to give it a shot. River is uh, on the decline and about to dry up, quite honestly. Yeah, it's kind of crazy. They, they're cutting off flows for winter up at Gavin's Point. And uh, as a result, you thought the river was low now. I guess we're just gonna have to wait and see what happens now. I mean, we're talking potentially record lows coming up. I don't know what to expect. This may be the last time I can get this thing out on the water. So let's stay tuned. I'm going to go try and uh, explore this new stretch. Kind of kind of been excited. Been wanting to do this for a long time now. So let's get on the water and let's see if we can find some fish. There we go, there's some baits. A couple of red horse. Another one. Let's talk about an awesome bait. All right guys, we are at our first spot here. I know I look like an absolute goofball, but it's because um, I actually got this crazy thing called LASIK eye surgery. And while it is absolutely amazing, I'm also not technically not supposed to be out here doing um, water sports. So I think, I think I'll be all right if I put on these goofy things, but they also kind of keep me warm because it's pretty cold out today. Going to give it a shot right here, this little section of river here. We've got a clear water river and then good old Missouri. So, yeah, let's see if we can't get any fish. This spot is known to have uh, really nice fish, especially in the wintertime. Well, all times of year, really. But, um, yeah, you just never know what you're going to get. So, let's uh, get some rods out and then let's see what happens. All right. Also, don't know if I've ever been on a river so far with this boat where I could actually see my prop. So that's pretty cool too. All right, this has been the bait here. Got our line set. Just wait to see what happens. There we go. First fish of the day. Little beauty white bass trying to seek refuge from Missouri. And here she goes. All right, let's see what else we can pull out from here. I don't know if that was a one-off thing or what, but this place has been known for lots and lots of hybrids. 
It's just unbelievable how clear this water is. Takedown. Oh, oh, he's in a snag. Damn it, he's in a snag. Oh, come on. Oh. Oh. Got out. Got out. I think. It's a good fish. He's out. He's out. Oh man, that had me scared. It feels like a good fish. It's just a ton of snags. This is big. Oh my God. I don't know what I've got on here. This is crazy. This is, I don't know what this is guys. I don't even think this is a catfish to be staging. There's just too many snags here is the thing. It's heavy. This is a heavy fish. Oh, it's a sturgeon. It's a sturgeon, it's a big one. Okay guys, gotta make this quick. These are protected fish and I don't wanna damage this fish in any way, but I wanna also get a video. Alright guys, check this fish out. Big old lake surgeon. Amazing fish. Let's get him back in the water. You can see he's got a tag right there. He's a 45 pounder. Well, that was a bucket list fish for me for sure um i just i've always wanted to catch a lake sturgeon of that size uh, it ended up being like 45 pounds 60 inches or something rough roughly i didn't want to keep it out of water very long at all um 
but yeah bucket list fish for me i've always wanted to catch one of those i've caught a few before but they've always been small um nothing of that caliber but uh you know this this area that i'm fishing is known to have fish of that size and and even bigger you know they, they definitely get bigger than that so um yeah not a catfish but man that really changed my perspective on uh you know what i want to go after when i come out here sometimes because they're in here um and i'm surprised i have, don't catch them more because you know they they do eat you know similar stuff to catfish they're scavengers a lot of the time so suckers are what i'm using right now and that's what that went after so awesome fight i i can't describe how awesome that was i thought he was hung up a few times and i thought i wasn't gonna get him but that's why i've been running 50 pound tests and that paid off so so let's see what else we can pull out of here and then if nothing's stern we'll kind of make our way back towards the ramp try a few holes on the way back what an incredible fish great to see it swim away like that Yep, he's sitting right on that current seam of these two rivers. <coughs> you know, I was really cold before the fish came, and it's amazing how much adrenaline can warm you up. Look at this. Did get one. That's a big skipjack. There we go. Well, no bites here, so gonna head back towards the ramp, make our way back down there and try a few other spots, so. Definitely a dink. Seems probably like a channel cat. It's acting all crazy. Yep. A little channel cat. Well, that probably means it's time to go. Time to go. A good either size. Yep. Time to go and catch those guys. But overall, one hell of a day. I love just going to see new stretches and new uh, catch new fish. One of these rods just got hit just now. Definitely didn't catch any serious catfish today, but. I don't know, it's just nice to nice to catch other fish for once, so. But anyways, I'll see you back at the ramp and we'll wrap things up. Okay guys, camera died once again. What a surprise. So, I'm gonna have to figure that end out. But um, overall, it was a really good day of fishing and just always good to get to go experience new waters. So, um, yeah, it's a shame I, camera died I didn't get all the catches and everything that I everything I wanted to get on video but I it, it's not even that cold out but the, my that GoPro just doesn't work when it's when it's a little chilly so but yeah I'm hoping to uh hoping to keep going like I said this, this river is about to dry up I think this is probably one of my last uh trips out here for a while I mean <laughs> there are times where it can be as tall as where I'm standing and looks like a country mile down to down to where all that is so yep we're just gonna see what happens i mean there's rain in the forecast next week but otherwise looking pretty grim so anyways stick around and there'll be more videos to come thanks as always for watching